Hey, welcome into Pixel Avenue. Today we're going to be downgrading pixels 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, possibly 7, 8, 9, 10s into any version of Android. Well, I don't mean every single version of Android. The device you're using has to at least supported that version at some point. So like I mentioned, this method does not work on the original pixels. So if you want another video on the original pixels, please make sure you guys comment down below. And with this method, you can downgrade to any version, upgrade to any version, and basically just select whatever version of Android you want. Clean install, and everything is good to go. Super easy. So today we're actually gonna do this method on the Mac. If you want the Windows version, make sure you guys go into the description and I will link the Windows version of the video when I have finished uploading and editing that video. So the first step is to make sure that you're actually able to install any specific version of Android. And it's pretty easy to check. So what you wanna do is just go into the settings. As you can see here, I'm on Android 7 on the Pixel. And then you want to go into about phone and then you want to click on the build number four times. And then you're a developer. And then go back into the developer options. And then you want to go into OEM unlocking. If this is grayed out, it means you're not allowed to change the OS. Whatever OS is on right now and higher, you're stuck at it forever. Once it's enabled, it should have a check mark like this. So the next thing you want to change is actually a bit below, which is USB debugging. Make sure you click OK with that. OK, guys, now I'm on the Mac. As you can see, I'm on Mac OS 12.5 in Monterey. So the first thing you want to do is type into Google Pixel Factory Images. And then go ahead and click on the first factory images for Nexus and Pixel devices link. So once you are there, go ahead and take a look at the right side of the page. And then find your specific device. As I said, this works for up to Pixel 6a all the way from Pixel 2. This does not work on the Pixel XL and Pixel devices. And we'll have a different video for that. So for today's demo, I have the Pixel 2 XL. So I will click on that. And now make sure you guys actually click on the right one. As you can see, I clicked on Pixel XL. If you click on the wrong one, you could possibly break your device. So be careful. So I picked the right one now. Time in for Pixel 2 XL. And then you can pick from almost any of these factory images. So the ones you can't pick are specifically near the end. So for example, this says all carriers except TW, which I'm guessing is total wireless or something. Some of them are only for Google Fi, some are for Telus and Kudo only. So you guys want to read the end and find generic stock images without the extra stuff. So uh, as you can see right here, this one's for Verizon. So I just want to reinstall Android Oreo. So I'm going to go ahead and download the latest Oreo factory image, which is right here, as you can see, 8.1.0. And uh, doesn't specifically mention any carrier like t-mobile or verizon so what you want to click on is flash it's that easy so now once you have the android flash tool came up also i'm using google chrome if that makes any difference anyway grant access to adb keys will show up and you need to click allow adb access and then this is where you want to plug in your device. Before you plug in your device, make sure you can turn on OEM lock unlocking 
and is turned on. And you also scroll down and make sure USB debugging is connected. So once you have plugged it into your computer, you should have this window pop up that says allow USB debugging. Make sure you click on always allow from this computer so you don't have to keep clicking OK over and over again. So check the box always allow and then click OK. Make sure you guys double check your device because sometimes it will ask you more than once. And then uh, if it doesn't show up right away in the selected device, what you want to do is click on add device and then click on your device and list and then click connect. Anyway, these options down here are, are very important in my opinion. What you want to do is click on wipe the device, of course, to get a factory reset. I like to lock the bootloader because I want things like Google Pay to keep working. And then I like to force flash all partitions. And then I leave everything else exactly the same. So before you want to install the build, make sure your cable connection is nice and stable as an interruption of this process could result in a fatal error. So be careful. I'm going to go ahead and click start. Confirm. Agree. Now it's preparing your device. So make sure you guys keep an eye on your phone just to make sure everything is going smoothly. And then make sure you guys follow the instructions and the prompt that comes up. So unlock bootloader. Your bootloader is locked. It must be unlocked. So obviously you want to unlock it. Click start. And then on your phone, you want to move your volume button up. And then click on the power button to go ahead and allow the the program to start unlocking the bootloader. So I went ahead and clicked on the power button and now it's beginning to download. All right, the download is completed. Please don't unplug your device. If earlier you clicked on the lock bootloader button, this is the part where you want to relock your bootloader so that you can use Google Pay and other financial services that require a boot, a locked bootloader. And it looks like everything is complete. It should erase your device one final time and technically you're done. You don't have to reselect your device. You're you can go ahead and use your device as you would like. If you wanted to reboot your device into the bootloader, once again, just in case, you can also do that, it's no problem. And I just went ahead and done that and the install is now green and complete. And here we are, we have the Pixel 2 Excel back on Android 8.1, uh, even though I already set it on 8.1 but we have a brand new stock device ready to go and set up as usual. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching Pixel Avenue and peace.